Greetings, today is Friday, October 18, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 5 p.m. in Quintana Roo, where weather conditions will begin to deteriorate over the next few hours as potential cyclone number 15 of the season approaches. This is associated with what used to be Invest 95, and it is forecast to strengthen into a tropical depression and could become Tropical Storm Nadine by around noon tomorrow, Saturday. So in this video, I'll be discussing the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center and analyzing the expected rainfall totals over the next 48 hours and the wind gusts forecasted across parts of northern Belize and the states of Quintana Roo, Campeche, and Yucatan in Mexico. Before continuing to talk about this disturbance, we are also monitoring Invest 94, which has a low probability of cyclonic development as it moves west-southwest. Over the weekend, it will approach the Turks and Caicos Islands, the southern Bahamas, northern Haiti, and eastern Cuba. If you want to know more details about this forecast, I will be recording another video early tomorrow morning. Let's now take a look at the infrared satellite animation, where today we have seen how the low pressure associated with potential cyclone number 15 of the season continues to show signs of development. In fact, a Hurricane Hunter aircraft mission is scheduled for later today, and they will investigate to see if it has officially formed into a tropical depression or storm. Generally, the trajectory models agree that this disturbance will move westward over the next 24 hours, entering central and northern Belize. However, the circulation is very broad, and the most active part remains to the north, affecting a large part of the Yucatan Peninsula with heavy rains and some wind gusts. By Saturday afternoon and into Sunday, it will move west-southwest, crossing over parts of Tabasco, Chiapas, and northern Guatemala, where rains may also be reported, and as far north as sectors of Veracruz. This system has approximately 24 hours to strengthen, so it is anticipated to arrive as a tropical storm, ruling out its entry as a hurricane, which is certainly good news for southern Mexico, Belize, and Guatemala. Here we have the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. It is estimated that within the next 12 hours, it will strengthen into a tropical depression, and by tomorrow at noon, it should become Tropical Storm Nadine as it enters central Belize. In yellow, you can see where a tropical storm watch has been issued, extending hundreds of kilometers north of the circulation, as this area is where the heaviest rain and tropical storm force wind gusts will be felt. By early Sunday morning, the center of circulation should move over northern Guatemala, where it is expected to dissipate, with the remnants continuing westward over parts of the state of Chiapas. Let's check the latest projections from the global models. Here we have the latest run of the GFS model, showing a tropical storm entering northern Belize around noon tomorrow, Saturday. We also have the European model projection, which shows a similar scenario, a tropical storm entering Belize, and the German model shows the same. So there is a lot of consensus in this trajectory forecast, and that's why a tropical storm warning will likely be issued soon. In terms of the expected effects across these areas, let's start with the rainfall totals. For some areas in central and southern Quintana Roo, between 150 to 300 millimeters of rain could fall over the next 48 hours. For central and northern Belize, 100 to 150 millimeters, the same for northern Guatemala. For areas between Tabasco, Veracruz, Chiapas, and northern Oaxaca, between 100 to 300 millimeters could fall over the next three days. So, if you live along this path and in a flood-prone area, remain alert to weather forecasts throughout the weekend. Additionally, don't forget about the wind. A rather windy weekend is expected for the Yucatan Peninsula and the states of Tabasco and southern Veracruz, where wind gusts of over 70 km per hour are anticipated. Well, that's all for this forecast update. Stay tuned, as I will record a new video tomorrow morning to update this forecast and also talk about Invest 94 as it approaches the Turks and Caicos Islands and the southern Bahamas. To make sure you don't miss any updates, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. With that, I say goodbye. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. See you tomorrow.